Hello everyone, I'm Tristan44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Abaddon 3. Last episode, we finally dealt with those spies that were outside Fort Foresight and moved on into the Barraza Woods. We were told there was a couple cursed beasts around here that we need to kill. These are the two locations where we need to scout. And, oh, there's a little, ta there's a little town here, New Woodhome. Start of a village. Hope to be more. Haven't heard anything about uh, Griffin yet, but I have my suspicions. Anyway, seems like there's an old wood yard here, so let's take a look at this. At least according to this abandoned lumber yard thing. So let's see what's in here. Oof, dark. Trash. Ooh, lockpicks. Yes, we need to investigate everywhere. Oof, blood. This is something. Can't go through that way. Hold on, is there anything I can click or anything else I can take? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go through this door. Hmm. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. This jar contains nothing but a scattering of dust and gravel. There's got to be more in to this place, but I don't know how to get it. We'll be coming back here, I think. Eventually. But for now, let's go up in this direction. See what's going on here. Well, that's... I suppose we can continue on this way. At least as far north as we can go. Yep, there we go. There's the north exit. Okay. It says Cursed Beasts. One of them is over in this direction. So let's investigate. See what we can find and such. That's a dead end. Ah! Another entrance to this abandoned lumber yard. Oh. Blowing runestone. Handy. Well, at least that's something. There still must be more to this place. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Ooh. This is ruined. This ruin has been occupied by a huge lizard. When you round the corner, it turns to face you. When its eyes fall on you, you instantly start to feel dizzy. In the shadows behind it, you see several humans. They sway mindlessly back and forth. As your eyes adjust, you realize that they are dead. The lizard's magic is animating them. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. Can we stun him? Okay, it's stunned. Good. Now, how about a corrupting cloud so everything is corrupted? That'll help out. Ooh, they are all actually quite tough. This may be tricky. Okay, then. Caustic pot, actually, will work. More corruption and acid and everything. You... Sharpshooter Spray for some more damage. And you, Firestorm. Burn them all. Already. You keep hacking at the enemy animated bodies, but they don't stop moving. The Basilisk's animating magic is too powerful. To destroy them, you'll have to reduce them to tiny bits. And at least deal with this Basilisk. Which I think I can do with a Death Blow. Yep, and now... Oh, you can attack again and finish him. You dealt the Basilisk a mortal blow. It collapses. The humans it captured fall motionless at last. The long war in the Barraza Woods enabled a lot of horrors to hide here. Making this region safe will take a lot of work. Well, there we go. That was, all things considered, relatively simple. And in here we have Crystal Crystal, Animal Animal Sin, Rune Steel Mesh. Eh, honestly, I think that's something we can just sell. I don't think there's anything that we... Anyone that would really need that. All our other armor is much better. Okay, there's got to be more to this lumber yard, but I don't know how to get to it right now. Anyway, let's move on. Take a glance up here. There's another one of the beasts over here. 
looks like there's a little hill or something over here. I guess we can take a look around it. Okay, that leads down over to here. Well, these woods are very quiet. Aside from those cursed beasts, there doesn't appear to be very much here. Not that I can tell. Oh, I see a path in there. Very interesting. Okay, this leads... somewhere. As you round the corner, you hear an alarming, familiar sound. The squeak of turrets swiveling to face you. The path to the north is lined by turrets. A long row of them quietly suggesting that you explore elsewhere. Someone is hiding back here, armed, dangerous, and alert for intruders. Anyone can get turrets, though. You aren't sure exactly who it is yet. Ooh. Let's see if we can at least find out who it is. I got an idea. Just stick with ranged abilities. And that way we won't have to deal with them too much. That's not overly pleasant. Okay. Now deal with that razor flinger. Excellent. Now the nullity pylon. Excellent. Now this shock turret. Ah, missed. Still, we are making progress. There we go. Next, reinforcing pylon. That's a new one. Construct of chains. That doesn't sound pleasant. Searing razor flinger. Before we attack that thing, I want to get more health back. Please retreat so Nathalie isn't horribly, horribly wounded. Then we'll have to deal with this creature of chains. Oh, there are so many of these here. Probably shouldn't have. That's not what I wanted. Okay, run back. I need to lure it away from all those turrets. In fact, how about we lure it over here? There we go, that works. Now, you mighty blow. You stunning blow. And you burn it. This will work perfectly. Close to the end. So we'll know who's here very soon. Do stop that, please. It's painful. You pulled him away from you. I don't think that worked how you intended. And we have... Emeralds. All right. Now for the rest of these turrets. Razor flinger. Ah. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of turrets. So, how about a firestorm? So close! Um, step forward three steps. Firestorm. Perfect! Oh, that is beautiful. 
That did beautifully. Now we can deal with these. That's less than pleasant, however. Ah, you missed. You know what, Nathalie? Switch to your bow. You've got a greater range than that. That, however, I am not pleased about. Right over there. Shoot the bow. There we go. You know, I don't really need to do it from a distance now. Okay, keep the distance. Alright, we're good now. Just health it with arrows and we're not going to lose Nathalie again. And we are good. Alright. I said... Hmm. Alright, let me save before taking a look inside. Alright, let's take a peek. What do we see? We need to find out who's in here. So, let's be careful here. Oh, hello! Walking cave muck. And I see Mindweave Widows as well. Oh, this is unpleasant. This is highly unpleasant. A corrupting cloud on all of them, at least. Of course those were immune. Why would they not be? They were causing corruption on me. That is also unpleasant. Nathalie is in big trouble. And you were ensnared. Okay, how about a searing pot? Won't do much of anything. Um, Blade Whirlwind. You are ensnared, but you can get in closer. You are not taking much damage at the moment. Firestorm. That works! Unfortunately, those didn't breach nasty. Still ensnared. You are also still ensnared, but you can sharpen your gray. And you... There we go, okay. That was, uh, surprisingly dangerous. But we got through that. Another golden moonstone. Getting a lot of those. Alright, get your health back before we explore down any more of these tunnels. Hmm, I have a feeling there may be some more horrible, horrible creatures down in this one. No. No, this one's actually empty. Okay, one other path to look at. That's over here. Oh, hello, that is a person. There's nothing over here. There is a lone Shadow Walker sitting on the stool, guarding the passage to the north. He wants it to look like he's alone, but you aren't fooled. The whispers of his warriors echo from the passage beyond. Greetings, visitor. I am Fudo. You broke through my defenses. You know that I am no weakling. If you are peaceful, I will be too. I ask that you stay out of the passage behind me. What are you doing out here? We are watching and protecting. This part of, Bar of the Baraza Woods belongs to Hoglandia now. Not all agree. Some threaten violence. We wait. We make sure our people stay safe. We are not allowed to be here, but we have to be anyway. You are still fighting for this lost cause? Fighting? We are not fighting. We only wait for the Kellen to show their treachery. Then we'll be... Then we will react. Don't you know the Pact is fighting a desperate war? Yes. It is tragic that Kellen Dariel forces us to be here, and when we should be fight off fighting the Farlands, blame them. You're breaking the laws of the pact. I am aware of that. You have the look of one who enforces laws. This causes a problem. You don't want us here, I am sure. However, we have no choice. If 
you can't find a way to give us a choice, we must remain. I'll be going now, then. Goodbye. Please leave the way you came. Well, now we know who's in this area. The Calendarial. We found their camp. Now we need to find the other camp, which we will, I'm sure. But first, we have another one of those hostile creatures up here that we need to deal with. Just need to get around to them. I see bones, so that probably tells us what's going to be up there. Yeah. Alright, up we go. Bones and blood. I have a feeling that's going to be the undead. So... Oh no, that's actually... It's gotta be the undead. Before I go in there, I just want to see what's down this path over here. Then we'll go in and deal with the undead. Oh, hello, wolves. Shadow stalkers. They've got a bit of strength to them. And they cast war curses. Oh! And also altered wolves. This could be tricky. Come on, I want them all to bunch up. I think that'll work. Okay, corrupting cloud. That'll work. Blade whirlwind. And sharpshooter spray. Nice repost. War curses and weakness curses. That's wounded. That one missed. Corrupting corruption killed that one. Corruption didn't kill that one. Yep. That one's dead. That one's dead. Oh, I see something coming from behind us. They're gonna ambush us. Maybe not. Oh, yep, he is. Well, one of them is. Oh, I bet that one was just, like, a scout that was wandering around, and we just stopped. No, no, there's another behind him. Yeah, they were going to ambush us. Fortunately, we found him. Alright, how about a steel wind? Alright, you step there so that they can't get past. Not easily. That's a lot of war curses. Not enough, though. Ow, that's not pleasant. Yeah, that one's dead. Alright, you focus on that one. Gabriel... Oh, you're still attacking it. Okay. Gabriel, come back and help Natalie. Thank you. Ooh, it's terrified. Excellent. Always throws me off when someone can suddenly attack twice. One more to kill. And... We're good. Excellent. That went relatively well. See this coming. Alright, anything of use in the nest? Uh, just in, uh, just another animal skin. Okay, now that that's dealt with, let us actually go deal with whatever creature is in here. Probably the cursed skeleton, because this looks kind of tombish. Alright. Relatively straightforward path. This cave is full of stagnant water and rotting vegetation. There's a tiny amount of light provided by glowing fungus on the ceiling. You can barely see through the green mist. Across the muck to the west, you see a skeleton standing in a circle carved into the floor. It faces away from you toward an insubstantial shade. Nothing is attacking you yet, but you doubt that the magic here is beneficial to you. Oh, goody. Shade construct cursed bones. I'm gonna save again. Okay, moving on. To 
this guy have anything? Not much. Got another lamp, though. A long, round, windy path. You have managed to get the skeleton's attention. Its head rotates to face you. Then it turns back to the shade and waves its bony hands around. A moment later, the shade changes. It stops being a crude, amorphous form. Instead, it starts to look a little like you. You are suddenly in pain. The ground starts to burn under your feet. The bones around the skeleton start to shift around. They knit together, forming defenders. The magic skeleton is determined to expel you from its lair. Uh, that said something, but I don't know what. Oh! Oh, that's unpleasant! The cursed bones create another defender. Wait, this could actually help us. I mean, we're burning, but we'll burn anything that comes up to us. Problem is, we're still burning. Okay, that's one of those defenders that it's summoning dead, but we still have more. This will only go for so well. Still, <laughs> I like this. We don't really get auras around us like this. So this is nice. There, that's, that one is dead. Moving on. Okay, Skeletal Defender is t has gained our attention. Okay, actually, hold on. Can you... Razor Splur... Razor Splur... Sure, I'll take that. You... Got that one. And you can corrupt and cloud all of them. They're immune. Of course they are. Okay, you actually heal yourself. Can't reach target. Of course not. Um, Icy Lance. That works. You finish off that one. You, Firestorm. Excellent. Oh, that's definitely not pleasant. Get to that cursed bones and get it dead. Oh, you're no longer... Okay, that works. Uh, heal yourself, though. Now we just need to get this dead. Okay, you... Try a stunning bash. That works a bit. It's taking a lot of damage. Shade construct is burning. That doesn't seem like a good thing. You've almost got the cursed bones, though. Okay, next round that thing is, is gonna die. The cursed skeleton falls into little bits. The ground under your feet stops burning. The shade vanishes. The evil magic placed in this cave has been dispelled. Another day's work for a Hand of Abaddon. Still got a couple of these, though. Oh, and we're no longer burning. Perfect. So, get out of the burning. And let's finish these off. Come on. Round. And we're good. Okay. What did he drop? He dropped Fire Fang Blade. Plus 10% to critical hit chance, fire resistance, and vitality recovery. And a decent amount of damage. I mean, it's something. 
Not sure if I'd be using it, though. Especially not on me. I, I like that much higher hit chance and the extra melee damage. Plus it has higher base damage. Interesting, but not something we'll be using, I think. Anyway, there's also a body over here, so let's investigate that, and then we can get out of here. Just head around. Some coins. Not really anything else we need to take. Okay. That's two of these creatures dead. Still got one more we need to find and kill. Which we will. But so far, so good. We're doing well. Come on around. I might actually end this episode after this. I don't know. Let's uh, head down and take a look at what we've got left. Down over to here. Um... Yeah. I think I'm going to end this episode pretty much here. A shorter episode, I know. But, um... I don't want to start something big now. That would end up taking more than five minutes. I'm only going down here because I'm pretty sure this just ends here. Yeah, I was right. It does. Okay, so... I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll explore these other areas, see what else we can find and deal with. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Gabriel, Botan, and Nathalie. This has been an Avidon 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.